Welcome to this 60 minute vinyasa flow practice. My name is Betty and I will be your guide today. I'll invite you to begin on your mat in child's pose or in your space if you're not using a mat today. Knees wide, big toes touching. Sink the hips to the heels. Stretch the arms long in front of you if that feels comfortable. Allow the forehead to rest toward the mat, maybe bringing a block underneath the forehead to bring the earth up to the head. So you're really working very little here. And begin with a few deep breaths. Inhale, fill the lungs as is comfortable and possible. And exhale, empty the lungs. Taking a few more deep breaths on your own. Perhaps imagining the breath traveling down into all the way the, to the bottom of the spine and filling all the way to the top and then exhale from the top of the spine all the way to the bottom. Inhale from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. Exhale from the crown of the head to the base of the spine. Maybe one more breath, inhaling from tailbone to crown and exhale crown to tailbone. Shifting the weight forward, moving into a tabletop, hands and knees, fan the fingers wide, rooting into the L's of the hands, tops the feet grounding down, inhale breath, Exhale, round cat stretch. The upper back puffs up, head and tail curl under the body. Inhale, cow pose. Belly sinks toward the earth, head and tail lift skyward. Exhale, round cat stretch, drawing the tailbone underneath you and belly button skyward. Inhale, cow pose. Head and tail stretch away from each other and up shoulder blades away from the ears. Exhale, round cat stretch. Inhale, cow pose, feeling the scapula draw down toward the tailbone, opening through the heart. Exhale, round cat stretch, feeling some space maybe between the shoulder blades. Inhale, cow pose, feeling space opening up through the front of the heart spreading the collarbones wide. Few more rounds of breath here with cat and cow pose on your own, inhaling and exhaling, moving with your own flow of breath. And pausing here in tabletop hands and knees. Firm the belly or the abdomen by Imagining the belly button drawing gently toward the spine and float your pelvic floor to engage Mula Bandha and Uddiyana Bandha, our root and sacral chakra energy locks, really correspond to our pelvic floor and our transverse abdominis supporting through the low back and preparing the pelvic floor for that gentle compression of the abdomen. Inhale, stretch your right arm forward and left leg back. Right arm forward, left leg back. The fingers and toes could tap on the mat. They might float away. And exhale, ground the limbs down. Once again, connect to Mula Bandha and Uddiyana Bandha. Feel that connection through pelvic floor, transverse abdominis. And float, inhale, breath, left arm, right leg. Left arm, right leg. The fingers and toes could tap on the mat or lift away. And exhale, ground down. Flowing through, inhale, first side. Right arm, left leg. Exhale and ground to table. Second side, inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale and ground to table. Alternating sides, inhale, float up, 
Exhale, ease down, table. Second side, inhale, float. Exhale, ease down. First side, we're coming up and holding, opposition raise. Pause here for a few breaths. Inhale, breath, feel length out through fingers and toes. Exhale, breath, connection through your bandhas. Inhale, breath, notice if the shoulders and hips are squaring to the earth, make adjustments as needed. Exhale, pause. One more breath here. Inhale, a stretch through fingers and toes. Exhale, ground to table. Second side. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Pause. Inhale, stretch through fingers and toes. Exhale, maybe soften through the face and jaw. Inhale here. Exhale, connect to bandhas. Maybe one more breath. Inhale, stretch through fingers and toes. And exhale, ground to tabletop. From here, I'll invite you to tuck your toes under, walk the hands forward six or eight inches. We're heading to downward facing dog. Big push up and back to that upside down V shape with the body. Fan the fingers and toes. We'll begin with the pedal of the heels. Draw one heel close to the earth, maybe your right heel, and bend the left knee. Then switch. Left heel draws closer toward the earth, Right knee bends. Then alternating side to side, pedaling one heel closer to the earth and then the other. Feeling a press into the L's of the hands as you do this. And a gentle lift out through the shoulder joints, through the bases of the wrists. When you finished your pedaling, even things out both sides. Allow both heels to sink evenly toward the earth. Maybe sense into a feeling of pressing the outer edges of the feet out toward the side walls of your space and drawing the heels back behind you to feel a sense of grounding through the feet in this downward facing dog. Looking up toward the hands, I'll invite you to walk the feet to the hands. Pause here, bend the knees, and take a slow roll up, maybe connecting to those bandhas here. Once you're up top, we'll roll the shoulders. Inhale, shoulders forward and up. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, back and down. Couple more this way. Inhale. Exhale. On your next inhale, the hands come forward and up. Pause here, exhale, bend the elbows to a cactus arm. Elbows pause at maybe shoulder height. Inhale, hands stretch skyward. Exhale, the hands sweep forward, down toward the earth, and then back behind you, palms face forward, squeezing the shoulder blades together and down. We could flow again, inhale, the hands forward and up. Exhale, the elbows bend, dropping into cactus arm. <sighs> Inhale, fingertips skyward, long arms. Exhale, the hands sweep forward, then down toward the earth and back behind you. Couple more times. Inhale, hands forward and up. Exhale to your cactus arm. <sighs> Inhale, fingers skyward. Exhale, sweep back to your shoulder extension. Maybe one more this way. Inhale, hands forward and up. Exhale, cactus arm. Inhale, stretch the arms long. Exhale, sweep back to your extension through the shoulder. Adding on, inhale, hands forward and up. Exhale, a cactus arm. Inhale, hands skyward. Exhale, sit back into chair as the arms swing back into extension. Pause here for a few breaths and check in. You want your femur bones parallel. Be able to see your toes over your knees. You might think about drawing the shins gently back. A lift through the bandhas. Heart lifted, chin lifted, gaze forward. Take an inhale and an exhale breath here. We flow again, inhale, mountain pose, hands high overhead. 
Exhale, the elbows open to cactus, maybe a mini back bend. Squeeze the glutes, lift the sternum and the gaze skyward. Inhale, back to mountain hands overhead. Exhale, sink back your chair pose with that shoulder extension. Flow again, inhale, mountain pose, hands to the sky. Exhale, a cactus, maybe mini back bend here. Inhale, mountain arms high overhead. Exhale, chair, arms sweep back. Two more times this way. Inhale, mountain pose, hands high. Exhale, cactus and a lift of the heart to a back bend. Inhale, mountain with the hands high. Exhale, chair pose, extension through the shoulder. One last flow. Inhale, mountain, hands to the sky. Exhale, cactus with a lift of the heart. <sighs> Inhale, fingers skyward. Exhale, chair pose. Pause here in your chair pose and extension through the shoulder. Breathe here three. Check in, thigh bones parallel. Inhale and exhale, maybe two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Release this to a forward fold. Allow the torso to fold gently over the thighs, the tops of the legs here, your quadriceps. Head heavy, breath full and even here. Right foot stays, left foot steps back to a lunge pose. I'll invite you to lower the back knee, ground the top of the foot down, and check in front knee over front ankle. Inhale the hand skyward lunge pose. Take a few breaths here, inhale breath. Exhale breath. Inhale breath. Exhale breath. One more beautiful inhale here. Exhale, ground the hands down either side of the front foot. Tuck your back toe. We're stepping back to downward facing dog. Optional vinyasa flow here. Inhale forward to plank, knees or feet. Exhale, slowly lower all the way to your belly this time. Elbows hugging the rib cage as you lower to the mat. Tops of the feet, ground, inhale, lift the heart away. Cobra pose, Bhujangasana. Exhale, press back to your downward facing dog or maybe to a child's pose or a tabletop. Inhale and exhale breath here, fanning the fingers and toes, finding a sense of pressing the outer edges of the feet toward the side walls of the space and the heels gently drawing back behind you. Knees may be a little bent. Right foot, same right foot, steps forward between the hands. Feel free to lower the back knee or not. Inhale, hands to the sky, lunge pose. Maybe three breaths here. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Inhale from the tailbone all the way to the crown of the head, imagining the breath traveling the length of the spine. Exhale, crown of the head to tailbone. Stepping to forward fold, top of your mat or space today. Knees bent as much as you need, head heavy. This time in forward fold, if it feels good, you might bring opposite hand to opposite elbow, maybe wrapping the arms and take a gentle sway of the torso side to side in ragdoll pose. Easy inhale and exhale breaths here. If the left foot that stays, right foot steps back. Feel free to lower the back knee down, ground the top of the foot and check in front knee over front ankle. When you're ready, sweeping hands to sky lunge pose for two or three breaths here. Inhale breath. Exhale, breath. A few more breaths here. Perhaps noticing the bandhas, reconnecting there, a gentle float to the pelvic floor. 
a sense of drawing inward just below the navel. Inhale, breath. Exhale, hands ground down either side of the foot. Tuck your back toe and back to downward facing dog. Pause here. You might choose to take a vinyasa if you like. Inhale, shift the weight forward. Plank on knees or feet. Exhale, slow, lower all the way to the belly again if you like. Tops of the feet ground down. Hands stretch long behind you. Lift into locusts. Heart, legs, arms all lift away with a big inhale breath. And exhale, hands ground under the shoulders, toes tuck. It's a push to downward facing dog or tabletop or child's pose. If you are here in downward facing dog, I'll invite you to find that sense of grounding through the feet once again. Maybe a little bend or softness in the knees. Sense of drawing the heels back toward the space behind you. And that press of the feet toward the outer edges of your space. Maybe one more inhale and exhale breath here. It's your same left foot, same left foot that steps forward between the hands. Feel free to ground your back knee or not. Front knee over front ankle, hands to sky, lunge pose when you're ready. Three breaths here. Inhale breath. Exhale breath. Inhale breath. Exhale breath. Inhaling from the base, the spine, all the way to the top of the head. And exhaling from the top of the head to the base of the spine. Stepping forward fold, top of the mat. Knees soft, head heavy. Few deep breaths here. Inhale breath. Exhale breath. I'll invite you to roll up through the spine. So it's the low back, then the mid back, then the upper back, shoulders, neck, head comes up last. Pausing in Tadasana Mountain Pose. Palms rolling forward. Take an inhale breath here, grounding into the feet. Exhale breath, soften the shoulders and jaw. We'll build a flow from those two sequences. Inhale the hands forward and up, mountain pose. Exhale, cactus arm, lift the heart and a little mini back bend, squeezing the glutes. Inhale, mountain pose, hands overhead. Exhale, chair pose with an arm extension, shoulder extension behind you. Pause here. Right foot stays, left foot steps back, one or several steps to your lunge pose. Feel free to lower the back knee if you like. Inhale the hands to the sky, lunge pose. Exhale, ground the hands down either side of the front foot, downward facing dog. Stay here or it's an optional vinyasa. Inhale forward, plank on knees or feet. Exhale to a hover to your belly. Inhale, cobra, locust, or upward facing dog if your body feels ready for that. Exhale, down dog, child's pose, or tabletop. Just one breath here, finding that sense of grounding through the feet, through the L's of the hands. Same right foot steps forward, same right foot. Back knee can lower or not. Inhale up, lunge pose, just one breath here. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Rolling up, bend the knees. And it's the low back, then the mid, upper back. Shoulders, neck, and head comes up last. Same flow, second side. Inhale the hands forward and up, mountain pose. Exhale, cactus arm, lift the heart, mini back bend. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale, mountain pose, hands to the sky. Exhale, chair pose with your shoulder extension. Pause here. Left foot stays. Right foot steps back, one or several steps. All the way back to your lunge pose of choice. Back knee lowers or not. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
optional vinyasa. Inhale forward to plank pose, knees or feet. Exhale, hug the elbows into the rib cage as you lower to your belly or to a hover. Inhale, locust pose, cobra, up dog, your choice today. Exhale to your down dog, child's pose, or tabletop. Just a breath here. Same left foot, same left foot steps forward between the hands. Back knee lowers or not. Inhale up, lunge pose. Exhale forward, fold top of the mat. And we pause here. Knees a little soft. Crown of the head releasing toward the earth if that feels comfortable. Feeling the breath rise and fall. The beat of the heart. From here, right foot stays, left foot steps back. We lower the left knee to the mat. And then pivot your left toes to face behind you. Lift the torso up, lengthen your right leg long so we can move into gate pose. So my left hip is aligned over my left knee. My right toes are stretched out to the side with the top of the foot facing skyward. Hands stretch long to a T-shape to begin. Pause here and notice if you'd like to add some padding underneath your bottom knee or just the position of your right leg. Make those adjustments as needed. Then we'll take a little flow here. My left hand is reaching toward the mat. It might tap down or I might bring my hand to my bottom leg for support. Coming into a big side bend stretch. Top arm might reach all the way over bicep to ear. Take an inhale breath here. Exhale, squeeze the side body and lift up and out. We're leaning the opposite direction. Right hand to right leg, wherever is accessible and comfortable. Left arm up and over. Maybe the bicep even comes close by the ear. Inhale here. Exhale, return to center. Let's flow through. Inhale, the left hand reaches toward the mat or toward the left leg. Right arm up and over for a big stretch. Exhale, lift up and out. Inhale, we lean toward the long leg. New top arm reaches up and over. And exhale out. A few more this way. Inhale, lean away from the long leg. Exhale, lift out. Inhale, lean toward your long leg. Exhale, return. Maybe one more this way. Inhale, lean away. Exhale, lift out. Inhale, lean toward your long leg. Exhale and return. Pause here. I'll invite you to heel toe your right foot in a little bit. Rotate your back foot around. We're setting up for warrior two on the knee with an option to lengthen your back long leg. Right toes facing toward the front edge of my space or mat. My back toes are angled in slightly. And I'm opening up to warrior two arms. If you'd like, you can come to a full lunge, tucking the back toe under, then plant the back foot and come up to warrior two with a long back leg instead your choice. We're going to hang out here in warrior two for just a few breaths. Inhale, breath here. Exhale, breath. Check in front knee over front ankle. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Gaze over your front middle finger. One more inhale, breathing in from the base of the spine all the way to the crown of the head. Exhale from crown all the way to the base of the spine. Beautiful, we'll all meet in lunge pose. So windmilling the arms down, allowing the back heel to lift. We're stepping forward, top of the mat, forward fold, one or several steps. Pause here in this forward fold. We'll take that same series second side. 
it's the left foot that stays this time. The right foot steps back. We lower the back knee on purpose. That back foot will rotate around to face behind us. And then I'll lengthen the torso up. Front left leg this time lengthens out long to the side. Arms stretch to a T-shape. We'll pause for a moment here, noticing if you'd like to add some additional padding under the knee or maybe heel toe the left foot into a more comfortable position. <sighs> Moving into this flow. First one, a little slower. It's now my right hand. My right hand is gonna reach away from the long leg, maybe bringing the hand to the leg for support or down to the earth. The top arm sweeps up and over, bicep maybe close by the ear. Take an inhale breath here. I'm gonna squeeze through the side body and lift up and over back to center. Now leaning toward the long leg, left hand toward the left leg, right arm up and over, bicep maybe close by the ear. Inhale here. Exhale to center. Let's flow through this a few times. Inhale, lean away, hand to the leg or the earth. Exhale, lift out. Inhale, lean toward the long leg. Exhale, lift out. Maybe just two more this way. Inhale, lean away. Exhale, lifting on out. Inhale, lean toward the long leg. Exhale, move out. Maybe one more. Inhale, lean away. Exhale, return. And leaning toward the long leg. Inhale, a stretch in. Exhale, return. Pausing here. Heel towing your left front foot until you can bend the knee at about 90 degrees here. Setting up for our warrior two, our back foot angles slightly. Stretching the arms long to a T-shape. You can pause here in your warrior two. If you'd like, you can come to a lunge, tucking the back toe and then rotating the back foot down to the mat for warrior two with a long back leg. We'll breathe here for a few breaths. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Inhale, breath. Checking in, front knee over front ankle. Exhale, breath. Maybe one more breath. Inhaling from tailbone to the crown of the head. Exhaling from the crown of the head to the tip. Whatever warrior two you are in will meet in a lunge pose. Allow the back heel to rotate skyward. And we're stepping up forward fold, top of the mat. We'll pause here momentarily for an inhale and an exhale breath. And then bending the knees a lot until you can come to a squat and then down to a seat on your mat. From here, I'll invite you to bring the legs to a comfortable V, comfortable V shape. Maybe flexing the toes back toward the shins. From here, I invite you to bend the right knee, the right knee in. Inhale the hands high overhead. Rotate the torso toward your long leg and exhale, hinge at the waist into a forward fold, half bound angle for an inhale and an exhale breath. If you find you'd like some support for your bent knee, you could place a block, another prop underneath the knee so you don't feel straining or tension in that area. Let's move on out. If you do have the block, I'll invite you to remove that prop. Right hand stretches back behind you, grounding to the earth. We're lifting into a wild thing variation. So weight on the knee, the heel and foot, and the right hand. When you're ready, we're stretching the hips and heart skyward in a modified wild thing variation. Take an inhale breath here. 
Exhale, breath. Notice if you might want to come out, find some padding under the knee or adjust the position of the legs or the wrist, the grounded arm. And when you're ready, we'll move on out. Let's take a little flow here. Inhale the hands high overhead, turning toward the long leg. Exhale, hinge in an easy forward fold. Inhale, we're moving out, hands to the sky. Exhale, ground the hand down, right hand down. Inhale, lift on up into that wild thing variation. Heart and hips squaring skyward as best you can. And exhale, a release to a seat. Inhale, the hands high overhead. Exhale and fold in. Inhale, the hands lead you out. Tall seat, exhale, ground the right hand down. Inhale, stretch up into that beautiful wild thing variation. And exhale, sinking the hips down. One more round, inhale the hands high overhead. Exhale, fold, easy fold here. Inhale, crown of the head, fingertips lead you out. Exhale, ground the right hand down. And floating up, inhale, hips and heart skyward. Exhale, return to the mat. Back to that nice wide V shape. Comfortable V here and a wide leg forward fold in the middle. We're headed to second side. So I'll invite you to just hinge in forward fold momentarily maybe resting the elbows or the forehead on a block for a few deep breaths here in a supported wide leg forward fold. Not working too hard, allowing this to be a nourishing, easy stretch, easy posture. Coming back to the breath. Noticing the sensations in the body, the activity of the mind. Noticing as best you can. Without hanging on. You might move on out of this wide leg forward fold. Bending the left knee this time, left knee. Just like right side, if your left knee doesn't reach the earth, you might use a block or another prop to allow the knee to rest comfortably. Hands skyward, we'll rotate toward the long leg, then hinge at the waist and forward fold for just a few breaths here in this half bound angle. Inhale and exhale breath. And one more beautiful inhale and exhale. We're moving on out. If you have that prop underneath the knee, I'll invite you to move that away. Left hand this time stretches back behind you and grounds to the earth. And we're putting weight on the left knee and the right heel. When you're ready, we're pressing hips and heart skyward into our modified wild thing pose. So pause here for a moment, stretching heart and hips skyward. Notice if you might choose to come down, provide some additional padding under that left knee or adjust the position of the legs. Make some adjustments for your bottom arm and wrist. Maybe one more inhale and exhale breath here, and then easing down to the mat. Adding a little flow, inhale the hands high overhead, rotating toward your long leg, exhale, hinge and fold in. Fingertips leading you out, inhale, tall seat. Exhale, ground your left hand to the earth. Inhale, your wild thing variation, hips and heart skyward. Exhale and an easy sink to the mat. Inhale, hands wide overhead. Exhale, fold in. 
crown of the head, the fingertips lead you out. Exhale, left hand grounds. Inhale, press on up your wild thing variation. Exhale, sink. Maybe two more rounds. Inhale, the hands wide overhead. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, stretching out. Exhale, ground the left hand. Inhale, sweep up, wild thing. Exhale and return. Maybe one last round here. Inhale the hands wide and high overhead as feels comfortable. Exhale, fold in over your long leg. Inhale, connecting to bandhas as you unhinge at the waist. Exhale, left hand ground. Inhale, sweeping up. Wild thing. Exhale and return to the mat. Bringing both soles of the feet into touch. We'll take a butterfly pose just as an in-between equalizer here. Inhale, tall seat and exhale, fold in. Making contact here somewhere on the lower body if that's accessible. Allowing the knees to sink toward the earth. Letting the breath be pretty full and even here as best you can and as is possible. I'll invite you to gently move on out, draw the knees together. We're heading to tabletop hands and knees. From tabletop, I'll invite you to ground the elbows down to the earth, flatten the palms to the mat, spread the fingers wide. We're heading into a preparation pose for Pincha Mayurasana or forearm stand. When you're ready, tuck your toes under, look back to the knees, and then float the knees up off the mat. You might come all the way up to long legs, maybe walk the feet closer to the elbow. For a few deep breaths here, inhale breath, exhale breath, inhale breath, exhale breath. Inhale from the base of the spine all the way to the crown. Exhale crown to the base of the spine. Maybe one more breath here. And when you're ready, gently easing the knees to the mat. Tops of the feet ground down if that feels accessible. We're coming to seated on the heels. Knees might come wide. And you might rest the hands back on the mat behind you. Fingertips pointing toward the same direction as your knees. We're heading into a modified camel or camel variation. When you're ready, lifting the hips away from the heels, feeling the sternum lift forward and up. If it feels comfortable, you can allow the chin to lift and maybe the head falls back. Inhale, breath here. Exhale, breath. Inhale, breath. Exhale. Maybe one more breath here. And when you're ready, easing hips back to the heels, back to that seat on the heels, back to tabletop. One more round, forearm stand preparation. Elbows ground under the shoulders, fingers fan wide. Tuck your toes under. When you're ready, look back to the knees and float the knees away from the mat, maybe to long legs. Maybe we walk the feet toward the elbows. Two or three deep breaths here. Inhale, breath. Lifting out of the shoulders. Exhale, breath. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Inhale from tailbone all the way to the top of the head. Exhale from the top of the head to the tailbone. And then when you're ready, walking yourself out. Tops of the feet ground down, coming to a seat on your heels. Knees open wide. 
camel variation. Hands walk back behind you, fingertips pointing same direction as the knees. When you're ready, squeeze the glutes, lift the hips skyward, lift the sternum skyward. Hips lifting away from the heels. Gaze can be skyward or the head could fall back if that feels comfortable. Just a few more deep breaths here in your modified, your version of camel. And when you're ready, sinking the hips to the heels, walking back to, to a seat. And I'll invite you to roll to your back on the mat. Or big stretch out, arms and legs stretching to opposite walls. Maybe giving the fingers and toes a little fan, stretching perhaps the skin between the toes and between the fingers. You might interlace the fingers here, flex the feet, flip the palms up and back toward the space behind you and stretch out through the heels of the feet and heels of the hands. Stretching out through the heels of the feet and heels of the hands. Maybe even walking the hips away from the ribs. I'm taking another inhale and exhale breath here. This big active stretch and then release the hands and soften in this position on your back. You might choose to bend the knees, soles the feet grounded down. Arms to a cactus shape if that feels good. So elbows are bent about 90 degrees and Upper arms are lifted to shoulder height. Dropping the knees to one side for an easy spinal twist. Inhale, breath here. And exhale, knee center. Inhale, allow the knees to drop away. Inhale, breath here. Exhale, center. A few more knee waves side to side on your own with your own pace of breath. Maybe one more right and left, side to side here. Whatever side you happen to be on, pause here for a few breaths in this twist on this side. Some options. You could cross your bottom ankle over your top outer thigh or outer leg. Or you might instead cross your top leg over your bottom leg. Choose a variation that feels really releasing and comfortable for your body today. Coming back to the even full breath. Perhaps a gentle opening through the front of the shoulder and chest. Maybe noticing a softening in the features of the face. When you're ready, I'll invite you to come center and take this twist to the second side. Second side here. We're pausing here for a little bit longer. You might choose some different options. You could take your bottom ankle and cross it over the outside of the top leg, bottom ankle to the outside of the top leg. Or if it feels good, you might cross your top leg over the bottom leg. Choose a twist variation that feels really releasing and easy for you, feels nourishing and what your body and mind need today. And here in this twist, just noticing the sensations that arise. Notice the activity of the mind. 
and as is possible, perhaps softening and letting go of the activity of the mind. As thoughts and feelings arise in consciousness, perhaps allowing them to simply fall away. And easing out of this twist on the second side, one full body stretch here, hands and feet to opposite walls. And hugging the knees into the chest, maybe wrapping the hands behind the upper legs or across the shins, maybe even curling forehead toward the knees. One final hug in and then exhale to Shavasana your final relaxation pose. You might choose to stay in Shavasana on your back. If you're feeling like you'd like some support through the low back, you might bend the knees, bring the feet wide, and then allow the knees to fall in toward each other in a supported constructive rest position. Or you might choose to roll to one side, maybe the left side. Using the bottom arm as a pillow and perhaps bending the knees to find a side lying relaxation pose. Whatever your choice today, let it be restful and easy. If it's comfortable and accessible, you might allow the gaze to soften or maybe even allow the eyes to close. Here in our final rest, we're letting go. The practice of relaxation. Letting go of the breath, the activity of the mind, allowing the body to rest easy, supported, nurtured here. I'll be quiet for just a few more minutes as you continue your practice of Shavasana of relaxation. And when you hear my voice again, we'll be closing our practice today.
I'll invite you to bring some deeper breaths into the body. Maybe gently blinking the eyes open if they were closed. Maybe bringing some movement into fingers and toes. And if you are not lying on your side already, you might choose to make your way to a side lying position for a few breaths. Find a position that feels comfortable for the shoulders and neck, the hips. The side lying is not accessible or possible today. Find some other posture that feels in between lying down and seated. With a great deal of gentleness and care, you might begin to gently make your way to a tall, comfortable seat. Shoulders softening from the ears. Crown of the head stretching skyward. If you like, you might bring one hand to heart center, palm just gently pressing into the heart, the chest, and bring the other hand perhaps to rest on top. Here, if you'd like, joining me, bringing to mind some thing, someone, some memory that brings you a great deal of joy. Allow that person, that thing, that memory to begin to generate feelings of joy and gratitude. Notice where that sensation is arising in the body. Perhaps beneath the hands, near the heart center, perhaps somewhere else. as best you can and as is possible, cultivating that sense of joy and gratitude, allowing it to spread out to fill the whole body from crown of the head to fingertips to toes. Imagining as is possible, the whole body filled with this sensation of joy and gratitude. And perhaps taking a moment to call to mind a loved one or a loved pet. And imagine sending this sense of joy and gratitude out to that person or pet, sending them this sensation of joy and gratitude. And perhaps imagining you could send this sense of joy and gratitude out to all living beings on the earth. Sending this joy and gratitude to all living beings. And if you'd like, closing our practice, repeating out loud or silently, may all beings be happy. May all beings be at ease. May all beings know peace. Thank you for your energy, your efforts today in practice. If your hands are at your heart, you might allow them to gently fall down to the lap or to the sides. Thank you for taking time 
to engage in this practice for your own health and well-being. <laughs>